If you're a U.S. citizen living abroad, can you still petition for your spouse to get a green card? I'm Eric Widman. I'm an immigration lawyer. And if you are a U.S. citizen or even a green card holder and you'd like to have your spouse, husband or wife, join you back in the U.S. with a green card, there are ways that you can, in fact, do this and successfully get through the process even though you're living outside the U.S when you initiate things by starting the I-130. The key principle that the U.S. State Department's gonna be looking for and USCIS is to confirm that you, the U.S. citizen petitioner or green card holder, the petitioner has domicile and residence within the U.S. So you have to show that ideally you've maintained a domicile, ties and connections to the U.S. And if you're a permanent resident, it's essential, of course, that you maintain ties and spend enough time in the U.S., otherwise you'll abandon your green card. But putting that issue aside, to be able to petition for your spouse, even though you're living abroad, you can, in fact, proceed as long as you're prepared to show ties and connections that you've maintained residence there and an address. So, for example, one great thing you can show is that Yes, you've continued to file tax returns. Yes, you still are receiving mail at this address. You have a valid driver's license. You have bank accounts. All of those factors, those ties and connections, will help you show that you've maintained ties and connections, a domicile with the U.S. Now, if you have completely moved abroad and are a U.S. citizen who hasn't kept really any ties to the U.S., very minimal ones at least, still don't give up hope. You can proceed by reestablishing your domicile and letting USCIS and the State Department know the consulate where consular processing will be happening for your, your spouse. You can show that you're reestablishing your domicile by going back there to get housing set up, going back to the US to establish a lease showing that you're, you've already secured a job or you're in the process of securing a job. So it's a, like so many things in immigration, a fact-dependent, case-by-case, totality of the circumstances approach to determining, well, do you have domicile or not? And there's a checklist that we give our clients that lays out what are some helpful things that you can pursue to get your domicile established or reestablished. So once that's done, once you should be able, that, that issue will be resolved and it won't hold up your green card uh, application for, for your spouse. Now, this, the normal procedures will still apply. You'll, as a U.S. citizen petitioner, you'll file the I-130 petition with USCIS. After that's approved, it's sent over to the National Visa Center, sent to the consulate, to have an interview set up. Your spouse has to complete an immigrant visa application and all the paperwork has got to show a number of things. But one of those key things that you as the spouse living abroad has to show is that you've maintained your residence, you still have an address or you're reestablishing your domicile in the US.